Welcome to the third section of this part of In The Workshop and this is cleaning and polishing my small locomotive. And thankfully the boiler test was successful and I'm cleaning up the locomotive now. And in this clip which I showed previously I'm cleaning the flue tubes using a flue brush. I'm calling them flue tubes but really the proper name I think is fire tubes because the fire comes down these tubes and the heat of the fire is transferred to the water. There are many different types of boilers. Very small model steam boilers, such as the ones for Mamod and Willesco steam engines, are called pot boilers because they're just a pot that holds water that you heat from underneath. Then there are cross water tube centre flue types. Then you have boilers like this one, which has fire tubes and a fire box, and the heat travels down the fire tubes and boils the water. That's it for types of boilers at the moment, there are many more. And now with the smoke box door closed and firmly clamped in place, it's time to look at the oil tanks. And as you can clearly see, the tanks are very dirty. First of all, I'm going to clean up the tops. And this was done using the polishing spindle first, followed by some Brasso wadding. And in this clip, I've cleaned up the tank bodies and I'm fitting the tops back in place. First one, and then another one materialises. I think that's an improvement, but the only problem now is they make everything else look bad. So the next thing for the treatment is the dome. And in exactly the same way as I cleaned the caps for the oilers, I used my polishing spindle to cut through all the oxide. The black spots that you can see on the dome cover are what's left of the waxy abrasive that I use on the polishing spindle. At the moment though, I'm using some Brasso wadding, and this stuff's incredible. It's been around for many, many years. You can buy a tin of Brasso in liquid form and apply it with a cloth. But I like to use this stuff. It really cuts through the oxide and leaves a great finish. This engine hasn't been cleaned for quite a lot of years and as you can see the front buffers are rusty and the rear buffers on the tender, well we won't go there, they're incredibly rusty but thankfully the front buffers are not quite so bad because I have cleaned these before. Initially I'm trying out some of these rubber diamond encrusted wheels. These are normally really good but in this case the rust is a little bit too deep so I need to call in the cavalry because this diamond encrusted rubber wheel is not making much of an impression. So once again it's over to the 400 grade wet to dry sandpaper and elbow grease. Oh yes and of course some oil to help the wet to dry sandpaper cut. This wet to dry sandpaper, the clue is in the name, can be used wet or dry. It's much better using it wet because the liquid carries away all the metal particles that would normally clog the sandpaper and stop it from cutting. The oil that I'm using for this job is just my normal lubricating oil. You can use anything, WD-40 machine oil, engine oil, anything you like, as long as it's oily and slippery and wet. And I'm not going to insert a girlfriend joke at this point of the proceedings. The rust on this buffer is quite a lot worse than I thought, and I'm seriously considering removing it using a combination of the polishing spindle or even some emery cloth in the lathe to clean it up. I'm going to soldier on with the wet to dry sandpaper. I don't want a mirror finish by the way in the buffers. At the moment I have a friend stopping with me from the USA and there'll be more about that in a future episode. He's very enthusiastic and normally works on absolutely massive full size steam engines. So I'm going to do a feature all about him because he's a wonderful artist as well but that will be in a future episode. I like to get the voiceovers done early in the morning but this morning's a bit earlier than normal. It's 6.30. So while everyone else in the house is fast asleep, I'm in the studio making another video. In this clip, I've removed the water inlet that I created using a safety valve and also the blanking plug. I'm just wiping away the residue from the Loctite 542. These are the original pair of safety valves fitted to the engine in 1996 when I built it. Once again, by using the polishing spindle first with some abrasive, followed by Brasso, they now look like this. These are Jubilee fitting safety valves, I always use those, I find them to be the best. The trouble is now, I have to clean up the other brassy coloured parts like the window, bezel and the whistle. But as my friend Alexander Cairns is going to help me with this, I think I'll let him do that. I've connected a piece of silicone rubber tubing to the water gauge outlet underneath the engine, which goes down into a tank of water because I need to drain out the excess water from the boiler. My hands are now very black and there's nothing new there. Working on miniature steam engines is a very dirty job. I'd like to tell you about this stuff that I've found. This is incredible. 
So what's incredible about a hand cleanser? Well, this is just different to all the others. It's called Relieve, it doesn't contain plastic, and it doesn't smell bad, it smells very nice. The female vocalist that we have in our band is a young lady called Sadie, and her husband John works in the family business, and they make this stuff, and it's incredible. You don't wet your hands, you apply some of it to your hands, and a very small amount, as you can see. And just look at the state of my delicate, sensitive keyboard playing fingers. What I'm doing at the moment is rubbing this stuff into my hands, and it smells really nice. It smells of lavender and Christmas trees and things like that. It's not heavily perfumed, and the smell doesn't stay on your hands for very long at all. Once you've rubbed it into your hands, all you do is rinse it off with some water. I'm using cold water as well. And the transformation is astounding. Just look at this. You saw them a moment ago, very black. Look at them now. Not only that, the essential oils that are in this mixture make your hands feel good. And for a very short time, it smells like Christmas. I could just eat a mince pie. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.